Hey guys, happy Friday. We hope you enjoyed our beer tour video. We decided to do a little bonus for you. We're gonna try one more beer and it's Spar, which is like the local supermarket around here. It's their store brand budget beer. So we don't expect much from it, but it'll be fun to try. And we are going to add in a little apartment tour. We want you to be able to see where we have saved the past month in Zagreb. Okay, so Spar budget beer. Uh, we did look on the back. It actually is made in Croatia, so it counts. It counts. What's your first impression of this bottle? It's a plastic bottle, which is a little strange for beer. And it's got, it's got a cap like a soda. Um, I don't know, like I said, I'm not expecting too much from this, but that, am I. that 50 cent beer we had the other day was delicious too, so maybe this will be good. Worth trying. Let's try it out. Two liters. Two liters, I know. Pretty big. For what? Two bucks? For two USD? Yeah. Shook it up a little bit on the way home. A little bit of a walk. Okay. Oh, it's a strange color. It's kind of a weird color for beer, right? Not so bad when it's poured. It's a little golden looking. It's got a bit of an orange tint. It's like the color of beer if you were trying to make something look like the color of beer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if you were taking a font color to beer. Yes, the beer font That's color. That's exactly what it would be. Yeah, let's try it. Cheers. What was Javelli. 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 It's beer. I have no opinion on it. I have no opinion on this either. <laughs> it's beer. It's not undrinkable. It's not undrinkable. It's definitely not it undrinkable. It is beer. How people in the U.S. typically get a Bud Light if they're not looking for anything special, that's probably what this would be for me. It's better than If Bud I Light. just wanted a beer. I'll drink this over a Bud Light any day, but... Yeah, you won't catch me drinking a Bud Light, but this could be an option. It honestly doesn't have a taste. It's the blandest it beer. It is the blandest beer I've ever had. But we tried it. So okay, uh, put it now on the let's list. snap over to a quick tour of our apartment. Hey guys, so as we promised, we are doing our apartment tour today. So we have this nice little vestibule out front. It's nice and private. It's two locks on the doors. So here is our apartment. Come on in. Okay, so we start off with this beautiful door. It's a double door, who doesn't love that? We have this great closet space. Some of it is used by the Airbnb host, but we definitely had access to a bunch of hangers. Right in the front area is the restroom as well. We have this nice little vanity that we were able to kind of put essentials on. Nice sink area, shower, and this hot water heater. We would like for you guys to let us know if this is a normal thing throughout European countries. We would love to hear more about it. The first night, I took a freezing cold shower, but we quickly figured out how it worked. It works great, and um, we definitely recommend turning it on about an hour before you need your shower. The bathroom also came with this nice little cart, so that was great for storage. And outside, here is our little dining area. I've been using that for my teaching setup. And we have this fully stocked kitchen. So we have a nice little mini fridge down here, sink area. And what we have here is what we think is called an induction stove top. It works with certain types of pots and pans and it heats up really quick. So it was great. We were able to cook um, pretty quickly most of our meals. Nice little peninsula that we used for storage as well, our masks, sunglasses, stuff that we would need on the go, the front door keys. What we really love about this Airbnb is if you can see on the walls, everyone who has stayed here has left nice little messages. So it was really nice to read some of those. It's great because they're all in different languages too, so it really shows how cultural um, the city is, and that is something that Chris and I definitely love a lot. So we follow into our living room a little bit. Hello, <laughs> nice seating area. There was plenty of blankets, so we were nice and cozy. And then we also have a nice little TV area. We actually used this a lot 
for our technology stuff since we both work remotely we have a lot of tech equipment the bedroom is absolutely gorgeous we have these double doors nice french doors coming into the bedroom and we have a nice little dresser so even though we're living life as nomads we did get to take our clothes out of our suitcase and not have to live directly out of a suitcase the whole time so that was really beneficial we have a nice comfy bed with little nightstands on both sides and who doesn't love these windows? They both open up and we had an absolutely beautiful view of the outside. I will open those up and then show you a glance of those. We hope you enjoyed the apartment tour.